Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we welcome you back to the Chumash Casino Resort here in Santa Inez, California, where tonight's action is being presented by Gary Shaw Productions in association with the Santa Inez Band of Chumash Indians and Showtime. This upcoming bout is sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation, Aaron Kaiser, Supervisor, by the International Boxing Organization, John Dodano, Chairman, and by the California State Athletic Commission, the Executive Officer, Armando Garcia, and Supervisor, Dean Lohais. The three judges who will be scoring this championship bout will be David Denkin, Dr. Lou Moret, and Pat Russell, and when the bell rings, your referee in charge, David Mendoza. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Chumash Casino Resort right here in Santa Inez, California, it's time for the leather to fly. This is the Showbox main event. 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF and the IBO Flyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the red, white, and blue trunks, and he weighed in at 111 pounds. His professional record, an outstanding 26 victories, only two defeats and one draw, with 19 wins by knockout. From the Abdel City, Philippines, ladies and gentlemen, here is the challenger, the Ostado, Prince Lionheart Gabby. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He enters the ring wearing the black trunks and he weighed in at an even 112 pounds. As a professional, he is undefeated with 24 victories, no losses, and 19 big wins by knockout. Originally from Vanadzor, Armenia, he now lives and fights out of Sydney, Australia. Introducing the current and defending IBF and IBO flyweight champion of the world, Vic, the Raging Bull Archinia. Chief second, Chief second, everyone else please out. Chief second. Gentlemen, we went over the rules and you're expected to follow them, okay? Got that? Okay. Protect yourself at all times. Anything below the belly button is going to be a foul, okay? Touch gloves, go back to your corner. As Gabi will try and take it away. The Filipino in blue and red, and in black is Darchinian. Battle of Southpaws, Darchinian throws every punch with authority. <laughs> yeah, I think what you're going to see early, Nick, Darchinian is not the most skilled boxer you'll ever see. His attitude is one of the reasons. He feels he can knock anybody out with any shot. He doesn't have to be patient. He doesn't have to be skilled. Look at him. And here he's he trying to knock him down. Yeah, come and get you aggression. That's what it's all about with Vic Darchinian. But Freddie Roach, who trains Gabby, says he just loads up unnecessarily. He's one-dimensional, and he can be outboxed. We will see, because the KO mentality of Vic Darchinian is instant excitement. Oh, yeah. Fully committed to every punch, as you can see. Gabby, let's see how awkward he can be. He's faster he than he looked like in the tapes we've seen already, Steve. Yeah, he does look faster. And what I want what I want to see with Gabby, he drops his right hand every time he throws it. If Darchinian is patient enough to look for a counter punch, this fight might be easy for him. Well, you see the experience. Gabby with more rounds. That's really because Darchinian is simply scoring a lot of early knockouts. Well, can he blow away Gabby? Gabby's never been stopped. Key point here. Gabby eats a jab, tries to come back with a counter. They punch it once. And that's probably a good idea, Steve. Why let the champion get off first? Jeff Finnick, Finnick wants Darchinian to be a little more patient and counter at times. He doesn't always have to make the play. Exactly. That would benefit him tremendously. Also, look for which direction Gabby moves if he's moving laterally. He'd prefer moving to his left and away from Darchinian's big left hand. Steve, the one time we saw any susceptibility with Darchinian was against the Rennie Pacheco when he took Pacheco's title and he got hit cleanly with a right hand. Will that be something Gabby should exploit? I think you can hit Darchinian with both hands. You know, he's not great defensively. 
I can't. I can't. I'll tell you that. Well, right. <laughs> he's 112 pounds, and he's too fast for me. But uh, Gaddy's had a real good round so He really tough, is. Tough, he tough, looks, tough, again, tough. a lot cleaner, a lot sharper, and as I mentioned, a lot faster than I expected. And he's going to need all three to out-hustle and win. Stop, stop, what I stop. I hope would be a strategy for the decision. Hooks. The word on Darchinian, he can't fight backing up. Gabby back him up. As you mentioned, Steve, he can turn him and keep creating fresh openings and punch and get out. And he's doing it beautifully yeah, nice here. Yeah, nice pivot. You know, you mentioned he can't fight backing up. Well, Irene Pacheco backed him up for large portions of that fight. Darchinian came back and knocked him out. So that really was what impressed me about Vic Darchinian. Good point. Closing out a fast pace first round here at Chumash. Nice. Go around. There you go. Deep breath. Give me a little hit, Gabby. Okay. Gabby, nice round. After your combinations, you keep moving your head for me, okay, son? Yeah. All right? Put your hands down. Put your hands down. If you make him miss, then you make him pay. Don't show him punch. Relax me. Come on. Come on. Vic. Hold it, Vic. Vic. Yeah. Come here. Vic. Please. Take time. Be outside jab, Vic. Outside jab. Relax, Vic. Get free a little bit wider, Vic. A little bit wider, Vic. Yes, yeah. in. Jeff Fennick should know what an ombre, huh, Steve? Three oh, time, three time or three division world champion. Whoa, what first class corners these guys have. Why not? This is an IBF flyweight title fight and the belt holder is in black. Vic Darchinian came from Australia here tonight to fight in Santa Ynez, California and he has got his gobby from the Philippines. Stop, stop, to stop. To me, stop, won stop, that stop. first round. Don't push yeah, his oh, head, right, please. Think. Bucks? Yeah, and it's a great trainer, trainer matchup, Nick. Jeff Fennick cut off the ring better than any fighter I have ever seen in my almost 30 years in boxing and he's with an aggressive guy here in Darchinian. Perfect trainer for him. And don't forget, Freddie Roach trains Manny Pacquiao. So he just might have, whoa, big left stop, hand by Darchinian. Stop, stop, he stop, might stop, have a pretty stop, good stop, idea stop. of what to tell oh. Gabby because Darchinian in some ways is like Pacquiao, about southpaw with a big left hand. Good point. And Gabby, while a Filipino, a completely different fighter than Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. Nice jab, right hand by Gabby, who really does need to eventually start putting punches together. Break. Defensive Break. strategies Bravo. blunting, Bravo. I think, uh, Darchinian's aggression and frustrating him a little bit. An offensive game plan, he's not there to be hit a lot. But, Steve, I think you hit it uh, between the bouts here when you talked about it. At times, Gabby's going to have to stand and trade with him a little bit. Well, he's not running, and that's a real good sign. He's staying in the pocket. He's a little bit of lateral movement. There that's you see it. Really sharp, tight little turns, and he's always in position to punch, isn't he? Stop. Yep, stop, stop. Back up. It'll be interesting to see as the rounds mount, if this continues, will Darchinian get frustrated? Absolutely. And there's plenty of time, and Fennec, Fennec wants Darchinian to be patient. But Darchinian, again, I thought the Cardinal Sin he's had before, he could give away rounds. There's a nice little left from Darchinian. The guys he knows can't hurt him and take a stop, bunch of shots. Stop, stop. Right. Come on, but come on. if Keep I'm scoring the go. fight and Gabby's Keep hitting two up. to one, Gabby's winning the round. <laughs> now Darchinian lands a little bit, but Gabby comes back. Darchinian trying to unload with that left hand. He stopped jabbing. Never really got his jab in gear as Fennec implored him to do after the first. Gabby's a slick little boxer. Oh, he stepped back, a little half step, Break. and then tried to step counter. Back, step back, come on. Gabby looks in tremendous shape, doesn't he, Steve? Yeah, and you know, he had to come down. He's been fighting much bigger in weight. But at this weight, when you get a chance for a title, you take it. You don't say, oh, I don't think I can make 112. Oh, right. You know, it's not, it doesn't come often, these kind of chances at this weight. Yes, he's 5'2", but he looks strong. He's absolutely ripped. 5'2", giving away three and a half inches in height, but the reaches of these two fighters are the same. 10 seconds. Closing out the second here. IBF Flyweight Championship on the line. Oh, 
Yeah, bro. Good friend. Deep breath. Yep. Thanks, Lindsay. Okay, Gabby. Now, Gabby. Huh? I want you to use your jab a little bit more. Don't wait for him to begin to start. Yeah. I want you to be first with your jab. Yeah. You hear me? You land on the jab every time you every time you throw it. Yeah. Okay? Yep. Don't wait. Action from round two. Jeff Fennick wanted Darchinian to widen his stance. That brought him a little closer to Gabby. But look at Gabby firing back, staying in the pocket. Don't let him be first, okay? All right? You be first with the jab, son. All right? Double jab. Seconds out. Mouth, he's in. Stay back. Steve, how do you feel about Darchinian so far in terms of patience, in terms of aggression, in terms of effectiveness? I think he's been reasonably patient. He's not showing any signs of panic here. I mean, it's a competitive fight, clearly. And, you know, his attitude, you know what it is, one shot. So, he may feel, ah, I got 10 more rounds to work with. You know, I'll land that big left hand. Boy, I, I, I don't know. Slick, quick guys like Gabby, I'm all for pressing behind the jab and moving your hands and not looking for that big shot. But and you're blowing people out of there, as you said, Steve. It's a great point, Nick, because Fennick told us yesterday he's trying to teach Vic to touch, 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 then bang. Vic wants to bang, bang, bang every shot. And, you know, it could have a tiring effect if this yeah. goes well. Obviously, flyweights throw tons of punches. Martinian patience is there. A tried to unload there to the left. Again, really look at Slick. Absolutely looks like a top 10 challenger. Qualified challenger here. And now he is slicing through with jabs. Tried to connect with a counter left there that was a little bit low. And now they exchange and it's Darchinian backing off. Yeah, Gabby got the better of that by landing that last punch to the left hand. Gabby just sees really well, just reading the champion's movements and then not waiting as Freddie Roach suggested. Why not? If Darchinian isn't making the play, why not punch and then move? There he goes. Moving to his right. Break, 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 step back. Stop, stop. Watch your head. Watch your heads, both of you guys. Watch your heads. Darchinian, the champion, is in black. And in the blue and, what, blue and red is uh, the challenger, the Estado Gabi. Looking slick and very difficult to nail cleanly in there. A nice left hand. And it, the champion's jaw. Darchinian trying to plant and throw. And See, there is no doubt about it. The guy is dangerous every minute of every round, and that's because of that tremendous punching power. But look who's not there to be hit. <laughs> break, break. Oh, Fennec yelled at uh, Victor Chinian low to high. I presume what that means is punch to the body first, then the head. Yeah, maybe taking his legs away would be a good idea. And that, what well, we just saw, that's what's dangerous for Gabby. Can't stop, stay stop, near the ropes stop, or in stop, the corner. Stop, stop, stop. Come on, your head up. Uh, it's just such an intriguing matchup, which we'll talk at length in the, in the fourth round. But let's watch him close it out here in the third. Bell ring, stop punching. Vic, bring, hands down. Bring. Bring. Vic. Look, this is first time you put some punches in combination you hit. You must go from body first. Come on, Vic. He's hitting you every time with every punch. You must be first, Vic. After you hurt him, you must hit him again. Low to high. Don't go for head straight away. Come on, Vic. Vic, he's staying right in position for you, but you're jumping on him. Vic, too close you're going. Give distance for yourself for punches, Vic. Give yourself a little bit of room. If Mr. Vic punch, come up with punch, because he's little, Vic, he's going down. 
No, every, everyone for head, Vic. Come on, Vic. Come on, Vic. Come on, Vic. Come back, Vic. Boy, that was a heck of a pep talk, Steve. Sure was. And you know what, Nick? I think it's a critical stage of the fight, even though we're early in this one for Darchinian, because basically what his trainer was telling him is what you're doing isn't working. You have to make adjustments. Can Darchinian adjust? Oh. The great ones can. The very good ones can. The great ones certainly can. Darchinian with that puncher's arrogance. And he gets hit by a straight left hand from Gabby. And there's a couple of jabs. Gabby connects, though. Boy, the champion is open. And he's not punching enough right now. Looking to violate Gabby's space. But as Fennec suggested, give yourself room. He seemed to be smothering his power a little bit. Gabby flipping the champion as he puts punches together and then dances out of danger. His hands are up, his elbows are in tight, and he's not a very inviting target. Slips beautifully there. The kind of elusiveness that certainly should dazzle boxing aficionados. I don't know if it scores points with judges. Gabby, I think, defensively and offensively, Steve, is putting it together. I agree, and you know, you mentioned before, Nick, that Darchini is sort of like a heavyweight in a 112 pound body. He's telegraphing his shots like a heavyweight, and he's a flyweight. He's, he's losing his balance when he rushes in. It's not very, it's not a very subtle attack. Right now he's landing. And Gabby's outboxing him. Yes, much better round break, here for break. In this back, last, in the second back. minute. The big Darchinian in black. Darchinian just waiting to unload on the left. Look, the, the right is just, a pawing effort, and Gabby shouldn't wait here. I've seen Darchini on tape as you have, Nick, what, three times I haven't seen him throw a right hook yet. <laughs> a baby combination from Darchini. Early tried to connect with that left hand, a grazing shot to the top of yeah. Gabby's head. And Gabby ducking underneath, using fighting low, Steve, as you talked about several times. He's 5'2", and why not make himself an even less inviting target at times? Gabby really making transitions beautifully, I think, on defense and offense. And putting enough together to give Darchinian problems, frustrate him, keep him out of sync, and, and really snuff out a lot of his momentum. But I think Darchinian is having a pretty good fourth round, and the reason right. is one of the things Fennec told you, you have to punch first. He's doing that. Gabby there, overhand left landed, not a lot on it. And he slipped that attempted combination. I don't know what, uh, what's wrong with the left hand of uh, Darchinian, but it looks like he's either loading up or trying to shake off something. Stop. We'll push. Come on. First combination from Darchinian. Gabby with a couple of shots. Not flush to the face. He almost gets thrown out of the ring there as he loses balance. Oh, threw himself out of the ring. Okay. Fox. Okay. Break, 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 break. I don't know what the crowd is unhappy about. Stop. Oh, that, at the bell. No knockdown. Boy, he was going down with the bell, Steve. I'd love to see that again. I hope we will. In the meantime, let's go to Freddie Rhodes. Got me. All right. Nice to have there, son. Now, Gabby, we got to back this guy up. We can't let him come to you. All right? Now here, you need that double jab. You back this guy up and put the straight left hand behind him for me, all right? Don't let him get off first. Good? Yeah. Ref, he's got to quit pushing him, though. Push. Let's right. watch the end now and here. listen for the bell. We Was it a knockdown? Back this guy up with the jab. You hear me? Break, 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 break. Look like oh, one to me. Or trip. Behind the jab, okay, son? Well, it happened behind the jab. before the fourth yeah. bell, that's for sure. Was it a punch? No, I don't think so. There was a punch there. I don't think it, it was a left hand. I don't think it landed. So basically, no harm, no foul. How do you have it, Steve, through four? 38 38. I gave the first two rounds to Gabby, the third and fourth to Pacini. I have it the same way for different reasons, but the 2 2 anyway. Well, what do you think of Freddie Roach telling Gabby you have to back him up? Wow. Gutsy, that's what I think. I don't know why this is a balance issue. The ring doesn't appear to be slippery. That's twice. That's twice. Okay, no more. Well, okay. Saying that Darchinian is throwing, pushing out of the canvas. Boy, Darchinian, look at his 
right hand. What is he doing? It's almost like he's got a forearm on there. Oh, nice left hand. Rockets off Gabby's chin. And that just seemed to incite him into launching an offensive flurry of his own. But Darchinian getting through now. Right hand low. Inviting Gabby in. It almost looks like Darchinian's trying to somehow time Gabby's moves, and I think it's a difficult thing to do because he's never in one place long enough. Yeah, in that sense, Nick, I think they, uh, they're playing role reversal <laughs> because it's really uh, Gabby right now who's standing there waiting for the big shot. A well, very exciting fight so far. It's a title fight. Darchini and the IBF flyweight champions come from Australia here to California defending against the Filipino. Diosdado Gabi. I don't remember seeing Darchini this awkward before. He's intentionally awkward. I think so, huh? Yeah, he's kind of, you know, strutting and uh, holding his arms out at weird angles. And but what's the point? No, 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 no. Don't use that shoulder. Darchinian with one. With a jab that doesn't land, but at least he threw it. And Gabby waiting, waiting, waiting. Maybe throwing away this fifth round as a result. Virginian bounces a little left hand off Gabby. Nothing serious, but it landed. Virginian tried to dig to the body. Here comes Gabby moving forward. The champ, his own volition, moves backward. Watch your heads. Good point watching the heads. Very prominent uh, zip of the bones from uh, on uh, Gabby. Stop. Very stop, susceptible stop, stop. To let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. And Garcini jumps in there, right? So, you know, chance of a butt. We close out the fifth scheduled for 12 IBF flyway title on the line. Come on. Relax. Tight that boot. He's very relaxed. Big. All right, don't let him come to you. You be first. You be first, son. Come on, Gabby. We go to the six. Boy, Lacey's got a beard. We'll see if he's got whiskers. Uh, Calzaghi <laughs> blocks him cleanly tomorrow night. Waiting for that one. They're going to fight 2 a.m. live in Manchester, England. What a crowd. What a scene. Oh, boy. I, I really can honestly say, Nick, I can't think of a current matchup you could make in boxing that I would anticipate more than Lacey Calzaghi. Beautiful play. Looking forward to that one and looking forward to the rest of this one. Very close fight. Victor Chinian is the champion. Counter punching there, and man, that was a flush shot. One of his best shots, but it didn't seem to break, daze Gabby. Break. He hit him with a left. <laughs> Gabby trying to come back, but nothing clean as Darchinian puts up a little defense. Triple right hand from uh, Darchinian. Now he starts to whack away with lead right. A uh, little hooks almost. Well, we talked after the third round about Darchini needing to make adjustments. You know, I don't know that I would have predicted these would have been the adjustments, but he's won a couple of rounds in a row because he's changed his style. He's laying back more. He seems a little less intent on having to, you know, knock the whole arena down with one punch, Break. and it's working Break. for him. Break. Step back. And Stop you punching. Step back. Let I go. do. Come I have 48-47, three rounds to two for Vic Darchini. I agree with you, Steve, and Freddie Roach imploring uh, Gabby to double jab. And I, I agree, I think he should be first. What's he waiting for? He's very elusive and stuff, but you've got to take the champion's title. You've got to take any, any guy's title. He's a big puncher. You've got, you got, you got to beat him by outworking him. To do that, you got to throw shots. Boy, that, that was strange. That looked like a pose. Darchini in the crowd considers it a hot dog move. Crowd's all Gabby, that's for sure. Gabby first, whacking Darchini with a looping right hand. Steve, I think they feel Darchini may be susceptible to right hands, and you'd like to see a few more out of uh, the established Gabby then. Working behind the jab there. Break. Break. Watch your hits, both of you. Watch your hits. Clock to the body as Gabby returns fire and then lands a little jab and he gets hit by Darchinian's 
right hand. Gabby backing up right now, so Darchinian pulling himself back into this sixth and maybe pulling ahead. Jeez. Wait, is Victor Chain a pro pure brawler or what? I see a little break. difference though in his break. style here. Step He's back. not back. exerting full, full energy with every shot the way we've seen him here with guys Don't he push. felt he could just Don't push right it. Don't push. Close round, Steve. Halfway Bam. home in this title fight. Breathe. Breathe for me. Breathe, breathe. Come on, get, get breathing right. Leg straight, leg straight. Get breathing right. Vic, we must punch in bunches. Vic, uppercut is there. Straight left hand, but you must double three punches with the same air. Vic, no left right all the time. Double left hand, Vic, and then uppercut. Left uppercut will hit. He needs to go down, let's get his head. Don't worry about it. Watch his head. All right, it's holding. All right. Action from round six. One of the things that makes Tarchinian tough is he beats you not just with his punches, but with his determination. Look at it, look at every shot there, loading up. So he missed the Do first one. Hey, he backwards. landed the second and Come third. On, that's a very good round, Come on, that's a better round, Vic. Vic, after good combination, you must Let's jump go, him Chief. straight away. Straight away. Made Back a key here. point, Steve. I agree Back with here. you. I just don't think Gabby's doing enough. He should be punching more, in my opinion. He slowed down, Nick. I, I think you're right. He's, he's slowed down. He's not running. He's still aggressive, but... Break! Break! Step back. Gotta, gotta outwork him. It's the only way. He's not gonna knock out Darchinian, I don't think. He looks somewhat weakened to me. Uh, his legs have not looked as good. Now he's got the jab in motion. Trying to put that offense in flow. Seven rounds or more. Hey, even Gabby, who's not the puncher Darchinian, has, has three KOs late. He's Gabby. been he's been this distance a lot more. Gabby moving moving right this time, looking for the openings. Darchinian in black backs off a little bit and gets clipped with a right hand from Gabby who can't follow up with Eddie. Gabby backing off now moving left. Little flurry inside, smart move from Gabby, but he's got to get out of there. He got caught on the back end with a left hand from Darchinian. So Gabby looking more successful when he's turning Darchini and maybe running him into a few shots. Very little clinching in this fight, as we would expect from flyweights. Stop, stop, stop. Come on, come on. Don't drive the wrong way. David Mendoza, referee, doing a good job. Hasn't had any serious issues except those throwdowns, perhaps. Darchinian put Gabby on the floor. But no knockdowns ruled so far in this fight. And how do you have it, Steve, halfway? 58-56, Darchinian, that round Brick. six was close. Brick. But Step I've given Darchinian everything Step since back. the third. Come on, guys. You know, this is pro boxing, Nick. And, and, hey, we could argue forever about scoring fights. But to me, the power of the punch matters. You know, and there is a difference in the power of the punches when Chinny is a harder hit. hitter. You have to consider that when you score a close round. But it can't be the criterion, of course, Stop. because uh, right. you, you can go with volume, too. But I don't think Gabby is uh, is maximizing that. So he puts Break. himself in a position Break. where he can't win a round. Stop. That way. Hey, you don't use your shoulder. So he has got to work, outwork the champion. Now he's in the corner. And uh, Chinny lets him off the hook which is something I've never seen from him, but he's never hurt Gabby in this fight, so the champion fighting, still cautiously patient within himself, not running wild, trying to run all over the challenger. Stop, 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 stop. Let go of him, let go, let go, don't grab him. Gabby's standing and fighting right now. Virginia comes ah. in with a blaze before the bell. How many times you can't let him push, ref? Deep breath. There you go. It's okay, Rob. Thanks. Deep breath, son. Sorry, bro. All right. That's good work, Gabby. Now here. 
Cavi. Every time you throw the combination, you gotta step off to the side for me, okay? Uh -huh. You can't step straight back in this guy. All right? Now, when he's trying to walk to you... Action from round seven, there. another close okay. round. This is toward the end of the round. Watch the two-way action. <laughs> Darchinian right there squared up, and Gabby certainly got the better of that exchange. Now, snap the jab out there, okay? Snap it and double it up for me, okay? Is that All right. he's in? Good quick jab. Quick jab. <laughs> IBF flyweight champion Vic Darchinian has gathered momentum and arguably Winning these middle rounds. Nice left hand as he tries to walk down Gabby and then backs off. Break, break, stop punching. Break. Freddie break, Roach imploring break. Listen up, break. Uh, Gabby not to be there and keep turning him, keep changing angles. Gabby not punching, now he's backing off. Break, stop punching, step back. Step back. The reason, step back. Nick, that we've seen Go. guys flying, usually it's been Gabby flying against the ropes. Darchini commits so hard to his punches, it's real hard for him to have real good balance. And as a Break. result, you know, when he lets Break. his hands go, Step their back. bodies are coming together. He's sort of flying in instead of stepping in. And uh, they're, they're kind of butting bodies, not just heads. Well, to pick up that point, Darchini definitely looks like a strong guy. And has he asserted his physical, seeming physical superiority in this fight? No, I, I think his superiority has strictly been punching power, not necessarily physical strength. Now he's set up very wide. He really has elected stop, not stop. to come on. Come on, keep your head up. Let's completely go. walk down Gabby and try to just close the ring off. He's engaged him in mid-ring, such as now. Gabby's yeah. having trouble though, Nick, seeing that left hand. Almost the way an orthodox fighter often has trouble seeing the left hand of a southpaw. And there goes that left, slicing through. Just a grazing blow on Gabby. But Gabby not having a good round once again. The reason is he's not doing enough offensively. Break. Break. Step back. Step back. Here we go. Stop. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Pick him up. Take those punches up. Here we go. You okay? Here we go. Come Gabby on. trying to shake it off. Low blow. A pretty clean fight. Gabby yeah, darting him up. through with that little left to the body. Really hasn't landed much there all night. That was a belt line punch that uh, Mendoza Warren. Oh! Crushing left hand and the combination, the follow up shot. Let's see if Gabby gets up. He's in trouble. Come up here. Come up here. Oh, he's in trouble, Steve. Yeah, yeah, it's over. Good call. Good call. Perfect. He's Boy. out, man. He's out. The power of a puncher. Freddie Roach said it. This guy is dangerous round 1 to 12 because he can punch. And Steve, you said it all night. Wow. If Victor Chinin has to depend on boxing skills, Nick, he's not going to He's not gonna make the top 100. Boy, agreed. But, uh... 112 pounds, little guys can punch too. We talked about that before. It's a, it's a total myth that the smaller guys can't punch. And Darchinian, along with some of the other flyweights out there, have proven that. One shot, one punch knockout. There we see Darchinian very happy to get this one over with inside the distance. He was having his trouble early solving this guy, but I gotta say, Steve, he didn't show me any absolute numbing power in this fight until then. That's the beauty of a puncher. That's all you need. You hit a guy cleanly, and this man got hit cleanly. Never stopped in his career. Tonight, it was over inside eight for Diostato Gabi. And here we see the winner and still IBF flyweight champion, Vic Darchinian, an eighth round stoppage. Well, here it is. It's a left hand. Oh, Gabby was open. You know, he was getting hit with left hands all fight. No doubt about it. Uh, Fennec was calling for combinations. Darchinian's idea of a combination is a long left followed by a long left followed by a long left. Well, one of those long lefts landed. 
And look at Gabby. Well, you don't see it there, but Gabby's eyes were all glassy. Gabby hit him first, too. Gabby's hands were down. It's that simple. And look at it. He's out. Darchini never stops thinking about that left hand. Ow. Thinking KO, and it lands. And the beauty of Darchinian is, the, again, caught him on the th second, third, maybe fourth shot. You've got to let your hands go against the slick guy, and he did. And Gabby, as you mentioned, Steve, was there to be caught. The elusiveness was over for him, and I wonder, you know, you had mentioned him perhaps fading and losing a little bit. And here, look at the look in his eyes. And, and watch his light. Away he got up. Very unsteady. Shaky, and as you said, the right call. Jake Gutierrez will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee David Mendoza stops a spout at 2 minutes 42 seconds of the eighth round. The winner by knockout victory and still IBF and IBO flyweight champion of the world, Vic, the Raging Bull.